Welcome to the de-identify live HL7 messages feed tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to set up a web service to add de-identification capabilities to your integration engine. The web service replaces PHI with new patient data generated directly on the message feed, keeping patient history but removing links with actual patients. This is useful for forwarding production messages safely to your test environment or third party. First, install this web service on an IIS server. Then, make sure your integration engine can access the web service. Next, let's configure the service. To configure it, you need the Charistics Cloak Desktop Edition application. If not already installed, install it before proceeding. You can find free trials on the Charistics website. Then, go to File, Configure Web Service, and specify where the service was installed. Then click Manage License. Follow the short procedure to set the license key. Next, go to File, Configure Web Service, and specify where the service was installed. Click Export Current Configuration to Web Service. This will send the current configuration, including the de-identification rules, to the web service. There you go. The web service is ready to de-identify messages. The last step would now be to make our integration engine call the web service with messages. The response should include the same message, but with a fake patient identity. This ends the de-identify live HL7 messages feed tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We love questions and feedback. Thanks for watching.